Hi Cancer, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your December 2020 mid-month tarot reading. This is for all Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And if you're new to the channel, I post new readings every Friday and then typically again on Monday or Tuesday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, you can check back in a couple of days or you can check a different part of your chart too. So if you check back in a couple of days, that's just to see what's new. You could also check an older reading if a title speaks to you. Really, sacred divination doesn't have a timeline. We just do that as our in our human constructs. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe yet, I'd love to invite you to join us and subscribe. That way too, you'll know when new readings are posted. And I don't do personal readings right now just because of my, just my time and I just don't have the time to do it consistently for everyone. But if that ever changes, I'll make an announcement on the channel. Let's get the advice for cancer, please. What does cancer need to know for the highest good of all concerned? What messages do you have for Cancer? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. So we'll do our tarot reading and then we'll do an Angel Answers Oracle card reading. You can ask a yes, no question and a timeline question with that. Current situation, you have the Six of Cups. The immediate influence is the Knight of Swords. You've got the sun in your destiny. That's beautiful. In the distant past, you have the star. You have judgment in the more recent past. And the hermit. God, talk about Major Arcana. That's really cool. The hermit is coming towards you. You're represented here by the Knight of Cups. The person or situation around you is the Three of Swords. You've got the tower in your hopes and fears. You got the Eight of Cups in the outcome, but this is interesting. The bottom of the deck for clarifiers, you have the Wheel of Fortune and the Seven of Cups. So seven, eight. So I do like the Eight of Cups with the Hermit in terms of ascension, personal growth, personal development. But I do feel like you may walk on from something into something better. And I do feel like if, if that's you, you're going to have a lot of opportunities, but you are going to have somebody who's hurt by it. Um, and you might, if you're in a relationship... Some of you may go back to somebody from the past. I do see that. Or you may be looking, you may be evaluating and looking at things that were better from the past. You have here Virgo, Leo, Aquarius, um, Water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You've got Air here too, uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So with this, there's communication, and I feel like this may be what stirs things up. There's communication from something with the past. The Knight of Swords is quick and sudden, and so it may seem like it comes out of the blue. And it may be information that you get that, again, gives you this nostalgic feeling of thinking back to looking at your life, kind of taking in your own inventory and looking at where are things going, where do I want them to go, and really taking stock of your job, if it's a relationship, if it's your finances or your health. I mean, it really is an overall looking at how things have gone. And there's, you know, with the Six of Cups, it's not a negative card necessarily, but it is a card of fond memories and happier times and thinking about that. And so with the Knight of Swords, there's a lot of, I feel like, communication, but thinking also going on here. And just kind of this time of, in some ways, introspection as I look at the Hermit and kind of connecting with what is my destiny here? Where am I going with this? So if there's anything that isn't serving you, you're going to walk away from it. Because you and your destiny, you can really have do or be anything with the sun. This is a card of, card of someone who is an uplifter. You're an uplifter by nature. You're here to love. You are in this beautiful energy field. Your dominant energy is love. And it's also a card, though, on your life path of success, of victory, and of self-mastery. So, you know, the waves in the sun are, the rays that are wavy are really an, an indicator of high vibration. And so it's a, it's a card of self-acceptance, of liberation. And so if you've had 
anything, any kind of limiting beliefs that you've been living your life by, you've got liberation here multiple times. I mean, I think we need to show this together. You have it. The only other card you could have that would really be great with this would be the world. Um, but it's not needed here. Again, it's like this nirvana that shows up. And the word liberation, I can't say that enough times with these cards in particular. So if you've had anything that's felt limiting to you or constricting to you, you're here to walk free from it and be on this course of, it's like pure positivity. And so especially if that's, you know, this is really your dominant vibration being in line with this. So if you have anything that is less than that surrounding you, it's going to feel uncomfortable. It's going to feel like something you need to be free of. So in the distant past, you've got the star here. And this is definitely a card of rebirth of, it is, can be wish fulfillment. Um, it can be associated too with the number eight. Um, there's eight stars in the sky. Um, and so it's also a card of connecting with your higher self. So again, as we talk about taking a look at your life, it, this is a great card to do that because she's connected to source energy. She puts her foot on the seat of the soul. That's the pool of consciousness below her foot for balance. So it's a card of med meditation, of going within, of self-care. So for some of you in the distant past, as things got shaken up with this pandemic, it may have really snapped you into looking at caring for yourself, especially if you've had um, people around you that have needed a lot for you. Like if you've had older parents who needed caring for or kids or you're in that sandwich generation where you're taking care of your kids and your parents, some of you may have had a bit of a wake up call and that was your you know call to taking care of yourself. So this is really a beautiful card though. It's also too a card of emotional outpouring. So in the distant past, you may have gone to a therapist too. That's also an indicator here. Going to a therapist and really connecting with who you are and what you want out of life. So judgment shows up and it's the Archangel Raphael that blows this trumpet of ascension. And again, I mentioned there's a this is a card of liberation too. It's a card of judgment day of, you know, being called home, of divorcing yourself from your ego. So some of you may say, I walked away already, and that literally was a divorce. Um, but it also can be a card of evaluating yourself and seeing where you've been judgmental. But I feel like it's you that you need to be, um, you know, gentle with, taking care of yourself here. Not so much your judgment of other people, but any harshness about yourself. It's a card of self-mastery, okay? So as I look at this reading, you have multiple tens in the reading. Um, so there's a new cycle beginning. The tens are about a new cycle, not the ending, but the new one that begins. And it brings in so much more fulfillment. So anything you walk away from, it's the great paradox of letting go. As you let go, so much more will be ushered in for you. So if it's a job that you need to let go of, the answers are through your own meditation, prayer, yoga, whatever it is that you like to do to center yourself. That's how you're going to have those inspired thoughts or inspired actions that show up. So again, for some of you, it's, this really is about leaving things behind to welcome in new opportunities. So the hermit is a card of a shaman. He comes in to tell the soul on the soul's journey that the soul's on the right track and to guide the soul forward. So this is you moving forward. So for some of you, if you've got a new business development or a new job opportunity, I feel like you've done a very good job of thinking about it and getting in your mind's eye exactly what you want, being very clear with the universe, knowing and telling the universe. But it's really more about the knowing, this internal knowing that the hermit has and inspires you to have. It's also too about clearing away all that noisy stuff. So some of you may have taken a break from a lot of different social media outlets. Although I see somebody who doesn't know how to take off some of their accounts. So you basically just delete the apps, but the account stays active and that's fine too. I mean, sacred divination or spirit doesn't care what you do as long as it's for your highest good. So the hermit is telling you in the near future, this also might be you since this is the near future, that you're on the right path. And so you may be looking at other opportunities here. In fact, maybe it's like it's in the cards that you are. 
Um, the Knight of Cups comes in and he's a card of a daydreamer and this represents you. So like I said, you may have been putting a lot into developing in your mind exactly what you want. So if it's that neighborhood that you want to move through, it's really even going to the next step of you look on the computer, you get it in your head, you're looking on Pinterest, whatever the case may be, and you start to drive through the neighborhood as if you're driving home. You maybe you go to the grocery store and you're driving as if you're going to drive into the driveway. It's that kind of action. So it's it's not just the thinking, but it's also making the actions. But he does come with an offer. So for some of you, you are going to have multiple offers here, whether it's in love or it's in a job kind of a situation. You have this ahead. And so I do feel like it creates a little bit of a whirlwind atmosphere around you. Not quite sure what to do because you don't want to hurt anybody. But with the Knight of Cups, Knights are good intention people. So this is you with your best intentions, but it's also you really promoting your own self-care. So if it's a job that's really needs to move on from, it's your time to do that. And so with this Three of Swords, this is the environment of the, or the person. So for some of you, this Three of Swords, it represents acceptance of a disappointing situation. So it does tell us that, whoever it affects, um, because even with the card of judgment, that's also a card that affects, it cannot affect other people too. Anything that you do with this though, they will have peace about it. It might not be immediate, but over time, they'll have acceptance of it. So if it's a relationship that you ended and you've still kind of been dealing with the turmoil of it, they're getting on their own path. Um, but if it's a job too, and it feels like they're, they feel almost betrayed by you in some way, or they suggested it in some way, it's okay to let go of that. They'll find their own way. And it's just not, you know, it holds you in a lower vibrational place if you are accepting that, you know, accepting the guilt over that. So the tower comes in and this is like a corporate takeover kind of a card. It's a crusader that shows up that will knock anything down that's not right, but rebuild it like a palace. So the tower is a castle built on sand that has to come down because it's not stable. So whatever you were involved with here was not to your highest good. And so this is a gift for you, especially if you were saying, well, I didn't want all these changes. I didn't really want them. It's been very disruptive. Um, it's still for your highest good because it's also, too, a way of letting go of limitations in your life. So especially if you were boxed in, you know, I had I saw somebody I know who's a science teacher and they picked up this like part time gig as some kind of like a conservation officer, I want to say. And they said, you know, when their friend approached them and said, hey, I think you'd really enjoy this, their first thought was, oh, no, I can't do that. I'm a science teacher. I don't have the right credentials for that. And they love it. And it's like this part-time job. It's that kind of out-of-the-box thinking. So what do you really want? Because the universe will do handle the details. You don't have to do any of that. You just have to be clear about what you want and not second-guess yourself, not for a minute. Know that you can have, do, or be anything. So with this comes some change and but the changes really ultimately are for the good so the eight of cups here is you walking away from something that may have been decent I mean it's not like it's a horrendous situation but it was not fulfilling it was not really meeting your heart space and so the seven of cups brings in a lot of different opportunities so as you walk away like I said it's that great paradox of letting go you'll find so many more opportunities, but it's not just letting go physically, it's really emotionally. Once you let go of that, you'll be able to bring in all these new opportunities. So the Wheel of Fortune shows up and it's a card of luck, it's a card of good fortune, and it's a card that's always turning in your favor. So the Wheel of Fortune is a very high vibrational energy. It's you ascending, there's multiple characters on this card that represent your spiritual ascension and that's when you can have do or be anything it also has um the word torah or tarot excuse me is on the is if you begin with a t and you spell all the way around it's tara tarot excuse me i keep mispronouncing that torah is on the book and the high priestess that's why i said that at first but it actually does spell out tarot 
And so it's also too an indicator that some of you are into more mystical experiences. You're into learning about mystical teachings. And that may be something too. And I just got this for somebody like if you're a therapist and you've been trying to figure out a way to blend your mystical understanding, divination, all that kind of stuff in with therapy, you're on the right track. And there's some opportunity here for someone. And I know it might only be one person in here, or it could be some other opportunity like you decide to walk away from a nine to five job. This reminds me of the creator of this Angel Answers Oracle deck. Radley Valentine did this. He was an accountant. The person who created this was an accountant who had an interest in tarot and he used to bring his tarot cards to his accounting job and read people's cards. And he ended up now, he's a Hay House author. He's got multiple decks out. I mean, from all that, from an accountant. So for somebody here, you're going to have a real change in events, but it's like life changing that brings in so many opportunities here. So let's get the angel answers here for cancer, please. Now, I did kind of get focused on the career there at the end because it started to come through so strongly. But there will be opportunities in love. And again, that's the same thing as far as setting your intentions, being clear who you are, what your heart desires. And communicating with the universe and that knight of cups will usher in the right person there's billions of people available to you so you've got abundance i mean there's very fulfilling energy with this it really is that sun energy that shows up and says that your destiny is to have joy and abundance we talked about this didn't we meditation brings answers this is important for somebody and it may be taking that plunge. Maybe you want to start a YouTube channel or you want to write a book or you've been, you know, making your own Oracle cards for years and it's time to contact somebody about it. There's something about this, about an opportunity, but it has to do with this sort of mystical understanding. Now you have recovery. So for some of you with the star card, this is certainly related to that. And just another indication that you're on the road to recovery, if it's physical, mental, emotional, now, you do have weight, and I've gotten this twice. I don't know why this weight card keeps showing up, but it does show as you move forward, it may be about really letting go so that you are not bringing old things with you. You know, if we don't let go, we end up recreating the same vibrational point of attraction. The same stuff shows up because that's our point of attraction. Now, they say there's something better. So they said this with the Eight of Cups, too. So if there's somebody in here that's hanging into this reading going, no, this can't be my reading. I don't want this to be the case. They're telling you with the Eight of Cups, that's moving on to higher ground, on to something better. So if you're asking your angels, you're asking the universe, you can be clear and say what you want. And we say this or something better, this or something better. And the universe will take care of that for you. It's just about letting go of those limitations and our beliefs. But you do have a nice reading here, Cancer. It's very powerful with all these major arcana. I mean, you have, let's see, six major arcana here. So that's important. So you're in an interesting journey here, but great things are coming. I love you and I'll be back again soon.